Welcome exclamation mark colon. For readers not wanting to read the story of this instructable here is a short, this instructable is about changing wallpaper in Windows 7 Starter Edition which is a problem since Microsoft deleted that option in this particular release. Enjoy steps of these instructables smile read all steps before you try it. Smile, for others that are willing to read the longer story smile, the story. Recently I have bought an SSA EPC C-shell netbook with Windows 7 on board, you may think quote you'll but hold your horses. Most netbooks on the market nowadays are sold with Windows 7 yes but it's only a starter edition which is good if not great for low-end PCs and netbooks. Why am I writing this then? Windows 7 starter does not include, error class, meaning you can only use the Windows basic or other opaque themes. It also means you do not get taskbar previews or arrow peak. Personalization features for changing desktop backgrounds, window colors, or sound schemes. The ability to switch between users without having to log off. Multi-monitor support. DVD playback. Windows Media Center for watching recorded TV or other media. Remote media streaming for streaming your music, videos, and recorded TV from your home computer. Domain support for business customers. XP mode for those that want the ability to run older Windows XP programs on Windows 7. Source, windowsteamblog.com slash blog slash windows 7 slash archive slash 2009 slash 05 slash 29 slash let us talk about Windows 7 starter dot asks. If you're like me and bought netbook with this Windows 7 version before you've read about its limitations on the web. This instructable might help you to get over one of obstacles of enjoying it like any other system. I'm going to explain process of getting your windows to change wallpapers smile. Enjoy and please read all steps before you try it smile, written by Dan because of an inspiration of his angel 